Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to install your exit tray on your Sharp copier with an inner stapling finisher. So if you have a machine that looks just like this with an inner stapling finisher that's right there, uh, it comes with an exit tray. And if you have to remove it or install it for whatever reason, this video will, will be very helpful. If you purchase the machine from us, we're most likely going to remove it. Uh, during shipping so that it doesn't break during transit. So it's your responsibility to put it back and install it. Now, it's quite simple if you've done it a couple times, but your first time, it could be a little tricky. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pass the camera over to my assistant so I can use both hands. Uh, you're definitely going to need two hands for this. <clears throat> okay, so here's your exit tray. We're going to install it but first let me point out a few things from this exit tray i'm going to flip it over you're going to find a hook here and a hook here okay and you're also going to find a little clip here it's a lock clip on this side and here as well now if we come over to your inner stapling finisher you're going to see a square little opening there and a rectangular looking opening there so same thing in the back here. Let me move my hand. I'm going to go ahead and turn on a flashlight real quick so you can see it. Oops, let me turn it out. Okay, so there you go. You got one. It's kind of hard to see, but you, you'll see it right, right there. So it's right here and right here. Okay, now uh, let me, let me uh, also point out that you're going to find these. You're going to find some play on these. Don't think there's something wrong with the finisher. That's the way it's made, okay? All the finishers do that, okay? So... Now, the way to do it is, now this is the fun part, guys. I'm going to go ahead and keep my flashlight here in case I need to use it. So, <clears throat> naturally, you will think this will snap into play at the same time. But the easiest way to do it is to go one by one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on this hook. And I'm going to, on one side, let me go ahead and turn on the flashlight. Oops. Oops. And I'm going to go ahead and put it inside here. Now, if you notice, I'm putting the lock inside the metal. So I'm going to put it in there. Now, if you look in the bottom, I'm going to find it. Once it's in there, I'm going to drop it down. Just wiggle it till you, till you see that plastic lock. There you go. You see that lock? That's what we want. Now, we're going to come over here. This side's loose. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use my hand my left hand here and I'm going to wiggle it so until I get it this the big square box to fall into place now this is when it gets fine okay now that it's in there I'm going to and make sure that the clip is in the inside of the metal I'm going to drop down and that's it guys now let me show you something you know it's in place and you can move it and it doesn't come off okay so now for removing it if you ever need to remove it for whatever reason Let's get back down here. It's quite simple. You see the lock clip there, and you see the lock clip here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put one finger here, push in. Well, I'm going to put them actually a thing on both of them. I'm going to set my finger here, and I'm going to set my finger here just like this. That's it. Now, once... Once I feel, I'm going to gently push in, and with my other finger, just lift up. And it comes right out, just like that. So once you do it once or twice, you're going to get the hang of it. So uh, let me point out another thing. Every now and then, these clips do break. It's not a big deal. You can still use the tray. They just won't lock. So they're just going to be loose. Anybody could pull it out. So don't think you have to ru rush out and buy another one. You can use the same tray. So, any comments, go ahead and leave them below, and um, good luck, guys.